We have seen critically ill coronavirus patients being treated in intensive care before, but we should never get used to it. Six patients are waiting to be admitted to this ward at St Helier Hospital in Surrey. Nearly half its beds are taken up with people suffering from COVID. It's a crisis never seen before. They're saying we're going to see what faces before it gets better. And we are already struggling with what we're seeing now. Been in nursing for 20 years and in intensive care for 17 years. I've never seen this, honestly. I feel like sometimes I'm in a war, in a war zone. As Hitcher worked, the chief medical officer said the NHS is in the most dangerous situation in living history. The numbers in hospital in England are now far greater than in either March or November's peak. Today they hit a new record of over 32,000. That's up 20% on a week ago and a staggering rise of 81% since Christmas Day. The truth is things will get worse before they get better. Visiting Bristol's mass vaccine centre, the Prime Minister warned us the jab won't have an effect for many weeks. Until then, tough restrictions are the only solution. We cannot be complacent and the, the worst thing now would be for us to um, allow success in rolling out a vaccine programme to, to breed any kind of complacency about the state of the pandemic. This is a, a, a very perilous moment. We're going to keep the rules under constant review. Well, we have to tighten them, and we will. Tonight, Morrisons and Sainsbury's confirmed they will enforce mask wearing in their shops and police are cracking down on people meeting in parks. But rules on who we can meet and where we can go have led to confusion. Boris Johnson himself was spotted cycling seven miles from Downing Street. Not necessarily a breach, insisted his health secretary. It is OK to go if you went for a long walk and ended up seven miles away from uh, home, that is OK, but you should stay local. Please get out there and have uh, take exercise because it's good for you, it's good for your physical and mental health, but don't say that you're exercising when really you're just socialising. It's a warning Georgina wants everyone to heed. Her elderly mother, Sue, died of coronavirus in December. There is nothing romantic about how this happens. This is the most cruel and awful thing and yet people are still insisting on going to garden centres or, you know, shops that are not really essential. South End Hospital in Essex begins to ration oxygen because it's running low. It is perhaps a message everyone should be thinking about. Emily Morgan, News at 10.